Yeah, welcome here to Andorra. Uh, it has been a little bit time in between uh, Val di Sole and here now. Uh, we had a few highlights in between. We had the uh, mountain bike marathon world championships where Christoph won the race. And now we're here for the World Cup. Uh, we had the leader of the MotoGP got pick up a new bike that he got from Specialized, custom painted. Uh, we were very stoked to have someone like him here to show him what we do. Yeah, normally for my physical condition I train with mountain bike, so it's very good for, for my training and one day I would like to, to try downhill because it's like more or less what I like on the bikes. You need to take a lot of risk and that I like it. Then the second highlight for this event is definitely the new bike that we got from Specialized. It's the new S-Works uh, 2014. 29er Epic. The race style of the cross country event has changed a lot and uh, for that reason we came out with a new bike. So we shortened the chain stay on the back, uh, also oversized so it makes the bike much stiffer. The wheelbase is shorter now, then also the head tube got shorter, then the steering angle also sharper so it makes the bike corner faster, going through those uh, tight turns much quicker you can carry the speed with. Uh, also the rear shock got a little bit downsized so that we were able to save some weight there. The brain technology, we kept that of course. Everybody likes the performance of the brain suspension. You can be focused on the speed, on the turns, on your riding style. You don't have to think about should I lock, should I unlock. Uh, we have integrated cables now so the down tube is very clean. Just needs one wipe and you drop about two, three hundred grams right there with just taking the mud off. We sized down the C post from 30.9 to uh, 27.2. First of all, it makes the bike lighter. Uh, it gave us also much more space uh, around the bottom bracket that we can use to oversize the tubing. Overall stiffness with the through axle is way bigger than with a normal quick release. We have that now front and rear. We got two bottle cages now. The SWAT is a little package that you can attach to the frame just next to the bottle cage where you can fit all your tools. Everything is on the bike, you grab the bike and you go off and you ride and have fun. Yeah, I look forward for first race on this bike. It's, it's shorter, much stiffer, much better in the corners and the technical section. The course here is uh, a little bit old school because it's uh, not so much technical, just single trails, roots and uh, stones and a lot of grass. The first climb is on the grass, it's uh, pretty slow, but then it's a uh, good long climb on the gravel and I mean it will be good for me. And uh, now it's a dry condition, so uh, maybe uh, tomorrow very high speed. Yeah. And uh, down here is uh, very easy. It's very high altitude, it's around 2000 meters here, so that's that definitely plays, plays a, an important factor here as well. Myself, I've spent the last two weeks here at the altitude. Hopefully I feel a whole lot better than I did in Val di Sole. Now finally I, I'm finding my power again, so I'm really, really looking forward to the race. When I did a fast lap, it took me like, I think like 18 minutes. So I don't think it's so short. But it's so little technical and so many uh, parts is on the gravel or on the grass. So it's uh, quite pumpy and um, I think it will be a lot of suffering and very physical race, especially in this high altitude. To the first climb, I was almost yeah in the top. I don't know top five or something. Really, really good. And then I made a mistake on the very steep descent because my front wheel washed out. Oh, it was tough coming back. Um, I fought the best I could. Like felt I couldn't go over my limit. Um, so I just focused on keeping my rhythm from there. So yeah, I did my best. In the middle of the race, I felt already a really nice speed. But then I broke a chain and uh, I had to run uh, like half a lap. All the girls passed me, and, uh, but I thought it's important to finish the race even if it's uh, such a bad luck. <laughs> New 
new bike was perfect uh, at the technical section and uh, in the corners, but uh, my body was, was bad today. Bike was perfect, but uh, we must go together. I didn't go over 80% of my limits and then uh, I was really dead. Uh, I don't know where is the problem. Maybe, maybe some sickness or I'm uh, waist up and uh, back home and uh, check up everything and uh, I will see. Yeah, very hard uh, for respiration. Yeah. My feeling is uh, not, uh, not, uh, not uh, good. Yeah. Well, today's racing definitely not went the way we wanted to because we came here to win but uh, sometimes racing is uh, different than you think it will be and uh, definitely today was a day like that. From here we go heads up into the next race, make sure we make it better than here and uh, yeah, that's what it is.